What's up guys, it's Koopo. Welcome to another Let's Play. We got a really power-packed episode today. We're gonna finish uh, chapter one and go into chapter two. Uh, there's so many quests that we can do on the way to this one, so we'll see what I end up doing. I don't wanna make a super long episode. And I don't even know how to title everything if I do like 10 quests in one video, so. Um, we're gonna start with talk to Master Illumar, and we're gonna do negotiating with the Volcano Keep, so... While we're still here in the Bandits Camp, there's actually an item we're gonna want to pick up. I already have it, but some of you guys uh, might not, for whatever reason. So I'll show you where we want to pick this item up real quick before we head all the way out to the Volcano Keep. Because it's a really long walk, you don't want to have to run all the way back here. So there's a guy up here named Obel, and he'll sell you some, uh, I'm not sure what they call it in this game. Some, like, reefer. You can actually steal from him, so let's do that. So he's right here. Okay, I, I just, I already stole What do you him. have to sell? But you can't. So he sells the weed reefer. We're gonna need two of these for the quest that we're about to do. So, if you don't have these... Go ahead, pick them up. I already have like six or seven of them. You can steal one and you can buy them. So there you go. Let's see, what's the best way out of here? Let's just go back the way that I, I know. So we got a little walk in the dew. We're getting turned around here. Okay. So I usually pre-play um, the quests before I record for you guys, just so I kind of know what I'm doing. And uh, there's a lot of monsters that we can fight. Uh, I'm not sure how many of them I'm going to fight just for time's sake, because we have uh, so much to get through. Yeah, on an exciting note, I'm looking into getting a capture card, which is going to help my recording a lot. Like, uh, for example, uh, I kind of want to do a gothic playthrough, but I'm having a problem with gothic where when I record and I'm talking to people, it, the screen just starts flashing. And it's, it's very bad. Probably give people epilepsy. <laughs> and there's a, I like to play a lot of old games, too. Like, like for example, I have the original Diablo uh, disc. So I could, like, I would totally do a Diablo playthrough if, if I could record it, but my my software won't pick up uh, Diablo because it's just too old of a game. It doesn't identify it. But if I have a capture card, I could just you know just copy whatever my screen does. So that's kind of cool. Just something I'm looking into. This Risen series hasn't been too popular on my channel, I don't think, but it, but it's okay. Uh, it, I mostly do it for fun. Uh, it's a very enjoyable game, and uh, a, a few of you guys have been following and watching, so that's kind of cool. And, you know, in the future, somebody might want to figure out how to do a quest or something, and then I got it all right here for them. These, I wonder if these plants respawn because I, I think I click I pick up most stuff when I walk by them Yeah, I definitely need a lot of uh, upgrades to my hardware. Maybe this next year I can work on getting a new computer and stuff So I cleared all this out uh, Earlier all these guys up here and there's a chest up there uh, this would be a good time to do that, guys. You can clear those out. You can go back and sleep at the little uh, shack over there. Um, but yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to do that uh, on the on the video because that's just something you guys can do. Let's see. The volcano keep is let's see this this way actually. Oh look, a druid hemlock. Okay, it's always handy. What do you know about this area? 
This camp's run by the Order for the Inquisition. What's the camp for? All the troops out here use it. They bring artifacts here and guard these two ruins. One here below the farm and another further up. Are the ruins dangerous? We've got creatures piling out of the ruins and spreading out everywhere. Can you tell me more about the ruins here? I can't really. I just stand guard here. If you want to know more, talk to Severin. Did you see the ruins come out of the ground? I haven't seen it myself, but I've heard a lot about it. Let's take that. It started with an earthquake, and the ruins came shooting out of the ground all over the island. I just took a scroll from him. <laughs> so this is one of the ruins. Uh, I checked out, there's three ruins, I believe, up here, and I checked them all out. And I don't think you can do anything in them yet. There's a few monsters you can clear out if you guys want to do that, but uh, that's something we'll check on later. Bunch of monsters over here to fight. Hey, look, another druid hemlock right here. Nice. Lots of druid hemlocks. So you guys can clear all these mobs out over there if you'd like. Uh, I did on the main my main play file. There's a bunch of quests we can do here. I think there's like three of them. Uh, let's see. You know what? I think I want to skip this uh, and come back and do it in another episode. I, this is like a whole episode right here doing these quests. Probably take a good 15-20 minutes. So, um, yeah. I definitely think you guys should do that though. Just talk to those guys there. But we're gonna. I'm gonna go back and do it. So if you're just following along, we'll get that done. Like I said, this episode, uh, to do these two quests I'm trying to do, there, there's like 10 quests on the way that you can do. So let's just get these knocked out and then we'll go back and do the other, the other quest. Some good loot over here, some mobs and some loot over there. There's uh, one of the temple ruin places over here. And like I said, I checked it all out and there's not much you can do uh, right now. Ah! 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 That's kind of close to. Let's let's kill this. It's like really close to the walking path. Kind of cool. I got my. Uh, we upgraded the sword a little bit last episode. Got the sharp one-handed sword. Should work good until I can get that bastard sword on. This guy's got a quest. Uh, this will be part of the... I guess the next episode we'll come back and do these quests. I'm not, I'm not going to talk to him for now. Ah. Another willing recruit to go into the Inquisition service. I'm here to speak to the Inquisitor. Of course you are. And why should Inquisitor Mendoza, the leader of the Order of the Holy Flame, want to talk to a nobody like you? I have a message from Don Esteban. That's what you say. Maybe you're here to kill the Inquisitor. Do you really think a nobody like me could kill the Inquisitor? I think a nobody like you could be stupid enough to try. You'd better be from the Don, or the Inquisitor will introduce you to the Holy Flame. And I mean introduce you to it really close up. Okay, so he's taking us inside. Another recruit. The guards brought you here because you transgressed the law. Am I correct? No. I have a message from Don Esteban. Then I shall take it to the Inquisitor. I must talk to him myself. I see. During your time here, you may move freely around the monastery. This is a privilege. Please do not abuse it. Inquisitor Mendoza is in the Holy Hall. Where is the Holy Hall? I shall provide a map. We don't want you getting lost, do we? When I wish to, how do I leave? You do not leave. At least not yet. You cannot keep me here. Take your message to Mendoza. That is why you entered here, is it not? Do that. 
Then we shall discuss whether you may leave. I'm sure you have things to do. So one thing that's kind of interesting here, let me do a quick save, is I've pretty much looted everything here. This text is about magic spells. There's a ton of uh, texts here, book stands that you'll be able to look at to get a lot of extra wisdom. So look, I don't think anybody even cares. Did it. Get lots of loot here. He doesn't seem to care that I just took all that loot. And then, let's save here. This, does this guy care that I take his apple? He doesn't even care. <laughs> just took your apple. Let's, let's just uh, loot it up. For some reason, nobody, they don't really care. There's another one right here. Another book stand. Interesting. Yeah, they throw wisdom at you in this game. By the time we get to the last guy, we're gonna have almost as much wisdom as strength. And I've put most of my points into strength stuff chest here they probably won't care gotta start again did it yep just keep sweeping there taylor okay wait what's that take the other broom Halt. Stranger. I have a message for the Inquisitor, from Don Esteban. The Don, huh? That will get you in, but try stealing anything, or causing trouble, and I'll feed you to the pigs. Are we clear? I'm not looking for trouble. There are those that find it without looking. Go on, pass. Okay. So, our first quest, Talk to Master Illumar, is right here. So, here's Illumar. What is your business here? Just looking around. Curiosity is a virtue. But do not disturb the peaceful atmosphere of the monastery. I shall know if you do. Sounds fair enough. What can I learn here? Open the books and you will discover. That is why the books are here. Read each one of them. Knowledge must be sought. It does not just come to us. Okay, so he wants us to read the two books. So here they are in the back. Scroll preparation. The scroll maker prepares himself mentally, then places the ingredients, the blank roll of parchment, and the quill alongside the prepared rune table. Copy the rune, noting all strokes and details made by the rune maker. The rune table is the secret then. The rune table. The rune table is a powerful tool. Blah, 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 blah. Here's something. To prepare the rune table, place the desired rune in the table. There, that's it. Okay, so we read the two books. Now he should uh, advance the quest for us. I've read the books about scrolls. Good. We devote our lives to such things. Such knowledge is important, crucial. In times of conflict, we write scrolls. With those, anyone, even you, can work magic. Can I learn to write scrolls? Of course. What do I have to do? Obtain writing materials, a quill and a blank parchment. I'm sure the other students will help you with this. Once you have the necessary writing materials, I will teach you the skills. Okay, so find writing materials. So we're gonna go talk to a guy that's gonna help us out. Which I believe. I think he's over here. Well, what brings you here? I'm here to talk to the Inquisitor. 
I speak on behalf of Don Esteban. An envoy? I hope you'll come offering a hope of peace. I am only empowered to speak to the Inquisitor. Of course. You are free to enter the Hall of the Flame. So, I can talk about the gate here, and he should uh, allow me to leave once I do this dialogue. Here to find out about the main gate. I need to know when it will be opened. I heard you're in charge of it. Plain speech is useful, but some may consider it rude. No matter. Master Palace will open the gate for you. Too risky. Yeah, I can't pickpocket him. Okay, so we should be able to leave now at least. So we need to get writing materials, so we're gonna talk to you. let's see, I think there's a guy down here. Is it you? Yeah, root. Wait, no. It's not him. This place is a little confusing. It's got to be down here then. We are gonna do a quest for Rufus. Just just by doing these quests, we're gonna be like like a two in one type of deal. Okay, okay. Here's the guy right here. Uh, Casper, you wanna talk to Casper? Do you have any Brugelweed? Why would I have Brugelweed? You're from outside here. If you get your hands on any Brugelweed, I'll take some. There are always people looking for a little herbal relaxation from the outside world. Or any other items you can bring in. I heard you can supply writing materials. Certainly can, but now's not a good time. Why is that? I'm running low on stock at the moment. I have blank parchment, but no more quills. Can you get one? Hmm, I'll need a few things. Get me a bone and two... No, wait, six... Grave moth wings. Where can I get the trophies you need? Well, you could go hunting, but if you're not a hunter, there might be some around the monastery somewhere. Where exactly? Well, the cemetery's your best bet for a bone. Just don't go dismembering any old masters. That tends to upset people. And you'll need to persuade Yoki to let you in. As for the wings, well, a few of the recruits keep some in their chambers. Just don't get caught rummaging around. Show me what you've got. Okay, so we want to buy one blank scroll. Alright, so we got that out of the way. That's one of the writing materials. So, uh, he wants wings. Uh, right here, this is a wing. So I already have two of these. Chances are you might already have quite a few of them. And so the, the best way I found to find them just here, let me save, is to go into these rooms and loot the chests. Okay, I'm not sure which ones exactly. You can just loot all this stuff. Apparently you can sweep the floor. I don't know if that does anything. Okay, not here either. I'm pretty sure there's one in here. That wasn't it. Damn. It worked. Okay, see there's two wings right there? And a telekinesis scroll, that's awesome. Okay, so I have I have four now, and there should be some more. Let me do a quick save. This guy doesn't like it if he sees you going into these rooms, so you do have to be careful. Did everybody look at this one? No, okay. Nope, not here. Maybe the cupboard. the Siemens chest I already looted that. Okay, I think he's gonna see me going here. Quick save. Alright, 
Okay, there's a wing. I think that puts me at five wings. Careful what you touch. Okay, he didn't. Uh, he didn't catch me. Chest is back there. Let's see if I can just run in real quick. Do a quick save. Nope. Telekinesis scroll, though. You looking for something? Careful what you touch. There's a wing right there. You see it on the... So... I'm gonna run in here. And get him to come in. What are you doing here? And then I'll run over here. I'll grab it real quick. Careful what you touch. Okay, I think that's eight. Let me just look in here. Okay. I mean, that's six, right? So that's six wings uh, for me. Uh, yeah. So I had two to start. So there should be two more wings uh, in these rooms somewhere. So. Let's see. I want to check that room just for the video's sake. So you guys can know where those extra two are. You looking for something? Careful what you touch. I hope you know how to behave in someone else's house. There should be two more around here, but um, yeah. Maybe we'll maybe we'll find it. Maybe not. The guides that I uh, have looked at pretty much say they're all in these rooms, and I've only found the four. So, I don't know what to tell you guys. You can go kill monsters, I guess, to get the other two. So. Or maybe in here, there's even more rooms here. Look, there's a wing right there. Oh, there we go. So just go around the corner, guys. That was an ant. Did it. That's good to know. So you just go around the corner and there's more rooms. I didn't realize that. There's probably we'll probably find another wing. There it is. There you go. Six we found all six. Okay, and there's probably even more to be found, to be honest. So awesome. So we got the six wings, guys. Next we gotta find a bone. I'm glad that worked out. <laughs> I was worried I was gonna leave you guys hanging for those two wings. So we got them. Uh, okay, we gotta go to the cemetery. Oh, I didn't realize you can. Okay. Cemetery's just uh, right here. This guy's guarding it. So, this is why we needed the weed. Halt. You aren't allowed in here. I was told I could walk around freely in here. Yeah, but that doesn't mean you can go snooping around everywhere. Some areas are off limits. The cemetery is one of them. So beat it. See how he's got his staff there? Let's let's steal his staff. You must have to keep your concentration as a guard. That's for sure. People will try and pull all sorts of funny business if you don't <laughs> keep an eye open. It's tough, but you won't find me letting my guard down. Hours of boredom, all to be ready for that one moment of excitement, eh? <laughs> What's he got now? Oh, he's got another staff. It's different. It's different than the one that I took. Halt! This is only for members of the Convocation. I want to enter the cemetery. Why should I let a bandit like you enter our cemetery? What about some Bruegelweed? Bruegelweed. Alright, you have a deal. Get me two rolls of Bruegel and I'll let you pass. Here. Two rolls of Bruegel. Great. The cemetery's all yours. Awesome. Okay, so you can go in here and loot now. Okay. 
kinds of stuff to loot in here. It's actually a really good place to loot. When we get down inside the cemetery, there's these skeletons that just loot everywhere. What's this guy doing? So yeah, you guys can loot around if you want. Um, I'm gonna head down. In the old days, Berenger, a mage, taught the art of combat, the art of fighting with the staff. He once said to his student, I can show you the path, but you must walk it yourself. Okay, didn't get anything for that. But that Buruger guy is actually a skeleton down here. See, like, there's tons of loot on these guys. It's actually a two-handed sword here. That's kind of cool. Here's, Ber oh, it's Behringer is his name. So he's actually got a key. And this is that quest I was talking about earlier. We're gonna, you know, knock out two birds with one stone. And here's the chest. It's got this book. And that's actually for a, a quest, and we'll go turn that in. It's kind of on the way, like a free quest. Tons of loot in here, and I don't know why there's a throne here. It's just kind of, kind of random. getting a bit of lag when the game starts shaking like that okay so let's see wait did we get the bone we came here for the bone right there bone bam got it okay let's go I, I probably already had like a thousand of those but I can't show you guys how to do the quest without showing you where to get all the items right <laughs> So, before we go down there and talk to Casper, we got this book. We can actually turn the book in. Up here. This guy's name's Rufus, and he's looking for the book. So we'll just get basically some free XP for picking up that book. Hey, greetings. What are you doing here? I'm looking for a book. Any book in particular? It's called Wisdom in Combat. The monastery's supposed to have a copy. That shaking happens a lot in this place, huh? The, the game's like constantly shaking. Here, a copy of Wisdom in Combat. Hey, you got it. Rufus is seeking Wisdom in Combat complete. Awesome. It was in the cemetery. What was it doing there? They're collecting lots of artifacts and ancient knowledge there. Even in times of turmoil, the Inquisition should respect books. A lot can be solved with books, but that's not your fault. I owe you a favor. Okay, so we get, wait, I think he has some books we can read in here, actually. Yeah, this book stand. This text is about magic spells. More wisdom. Here, about scrolls, and ingredients. Preparing a telekinesis scroll requires wing dust. It's kind of handy, I guess, if it, uh... Telekinesis scrolls are really useful, so... I don't know if that actually taught me how to do that or not. Um, okay, so we're gonna go talk to Casper. He's the guy that's down here. We have all the materials now. Here's the bone and moth wings you needed. Excellent. Here's your quill. Take care of it. All right. Sweet. Now we can go talk to the Ilomar guy again. 
and he'll teach us how to craft our own spell scrolls. I'm not sure how good that is. Because this is my, my this is actually my first playthrough. So let me do a quick save. I have the writing materials. Will you teach me how to make scrolls? Good. But you are still lacking one essential component for the creation of a scroll. A rune. And are you going to tell me where I can get one? I will give it to you as soon as you have learned your skill. I also have a list for you. It describes the necessary components for creating scrolls. Okay, so we've basically finished this quest. You can get this if you want. Requires learning points. I don't even think I have gained a... I don't think I even have any learning points right now. Yeah, I only have three, so... Yeah. You guys can pick that up if you want, and you can learn how to make uh, spell scrolls. So, that quest is finished. And then the other quest we wanted to do is negotiate with the Volcano Keep. So there's going to be a lot of uh, story here, and it's going to end the chapter. And here's some more wisdom books. There's something here about magic. This text is about magic spells. Jeez, we got so much. How much wisdom do I have? 34 wisdom. That's crazy. Look at my strength. 35 strength. Reading those books really does a lot. Okay, uh, time for some crazy lore, guys. From the smell of it, you are from the swamp. What does an outlaw want here? I bring a message from Don Esteban. Why does he not come himself? Why haven't you gone to him? Defiance. That is what I have come to expect from the Don. And all the Don gets is aggression, intolerance, and a deaf ear. Isn't it time we change that? But I will hear you. Tell me the Don's message. Simply this. The fighting has to stop. Is Esteban afraid or weary? The creatures from the temples don't care what side we're on. They attack everyone. They are the real threat. We should work together to solve our problems. These creatures are a distraction. They are not the real threat we face. If there is a worse threat, do you really want to face it while still fighting these creatures and the Don? You need fewer enemies. That can come with peace. Or with their destruction. Conflict weakens your forces, as it does ours. So does having a cancer eating away at us. Peace with the Don has brought us nothing but trouble. Then we shall fight on. This threat will grow, your forces weaken, and we all lose. Now the Don realizes that. He sees the storms. He knows the mainland has fallen silent. Then tell me what we face so the Don can understand. Isn't that obvious? These storms, these temples, the very future of humanity is threatened. You need to tell me more about what's going on. The gods have left the world. Humanity was supposed to be free. Instead, these storms are sweeping us from the face of the land. These creatures are killing our people. But while the holy flame burns strong in this hall, we stand a chance. Let's see if your actions and words match. I will offer you a task. Carry that out, and I shall take it as a sign that the Don can be trusted, that your words are true. Why did the gods leave the world? A mage who wanted to free humanity drove them from this world, and we are at the mercy of what that magic released. What matters now is our survival. You keep talking of a worse threat. What is this threat you fear? The Dark Wave the mage used to free us from the gods has released other powers. Titans. Crossing the seas, they come with the storms. I have seen them. I have witnessed the destruction they bring to humanity. They are everywhere. And we have found no weapon that can stand against them. What are the Titans? Will you follow me and learn? Why is the Holy Flame important? The Flame is a source of magic. 
The island is protected by its power. Protected? What about the ruins that appeared and the creatures? They are not our prime concern. It is the storms we must worry about. But how can we stop this destruction? As long as the flame burns, this island is safe. And that gives us time. Time to discover why the Titans do not come here. How they may be stopped. Yes. Show me. Good. I have not misjudged you. Follow me and learn the truth. This world, all the lands you know, were once the domain of the Titans, old beings that shaped this world. They are raw forces of nature that were tamed by the deities you grew up knowing. The gods that enslaved humanity. It was man's duty to drive away those gods, to loose our chains, but in that action, the Titans have also been freed. They seek to take this world from humanity. Human, Titan, one must give. It will not be humanity. Follow me and we shall make certain of this. I have fought the Titans, on land and sea. But their magic is old, their bodies incorporeal. We will win this battle only once we know how to use the flame. But for that, we must fathom its mysteries. Come, we must go. The temple ruins contain many secrets. It was in such a temple I discovered the ocular I wear. It shows me the magical currents of the world. The holy flame has its origins in the fire of the volcano, and the currents on this island flow there. It must be tied to the secret of this island's survival. Come, let us go there. Here, this gate will lead us to the source of the Holy Flame. This gate will lead us to the secret of the storms. Humanity must be defended, and it is the flame that holds the key to this. Is there a faster way to reach this place? Take this teleport stone. It is a valuable artifact from the temples. It will bring you directly back to me. This is your mission. This is your duty. Do not fail it. How do we get this gate open? No spell, no brute force can open it. Only the five keys it needs will do. Five crystal discs will open this mechanism. How do you know those discs will open this? I have one of them, and it fits the lock. Unfortunately, the one I have is damaged. The other four missing but they must be on this island. I came here to seek answers. Those answers are inside this mountain, beyond this gate. You will get me inside. Find these discs, find them and bring them to me. So if I help you, then Don Esteban will get the armistice he proposed. Peace. Gold. As long as he allows us to do this task, he may do as he likes. But you will bring me the crystal discs. 
You will open this gate and then enter the temple with me. Why? Because you serve Esteban, and that is my price. Find those discs. About the crystal discs. What happened to the damaged disc? It was exposed to the dark wave. The magic released to drive away the gods, and its crystal lost all of its power. Without it, we cannot open the portal. So what was the point in coming here? I think we can repair the missing disc. I sent the mage Cyrus to see to this. How can the disc be repaired? The druid Eldrick is an expert on crystals. He should be able to help us. And he has spent time studying the ruins here. If anyone on this island has the knowledge to repair the disc, it is him. You don't know if he can fix the disc. If you spend your life waiting until you know things for certain, you will learn nothing. I sent Cyrus to the Druid, but he has yet to return. You should check on him and see what progress the Druid has made. So you think something happened to Cyrus? We should investigate to make sure we must repair the disc. I will look for Cyrus. Good. See to it. Make sure Eldrick repairs the disc, then bring it to me. But hurry, we do not have much time left. Where do I find this druid Eldrick? He's a hermit. He has a hut on the east side of the island. It is at the foot of the volcano in the shadow of the mountain face. What do druids do? They study magic, draw on the raw, untamed power of nature. This can make them a little strange. They spend their time getting closer to nature, studying animals, avoiding order and civilization. And this druid has the knowledge to help us. Druids are guardians of very ancient and powerful knowledge. Knowledge we need now. Where else should I look for discs, besides the Don's camp? There are no discs in the monastery, but Severin is gathering artifacts at the Inquisition camp outside here, at a place called Tilda's farm. We can hope he has something there. Talk to Severin. See what they have discovered. Awesome. Well, we finally learned a little bit on what's going on in this game. Pretty uh, epic stuff. So I think that's a good time to end the episode. Uh, I knew it was going to be a pretty long one. So, as always guys, like, comment, subscribe. I hope you guys are enjoying this series. And uh, we're going to start up chapter 2. Right here in the next uh, episode, I'll probably try to go back and do a few of those quests that we passed on the path on the way here. Uh, if it'll still allow me to do them. Now that we're in Chapter 2, I'm not sure if they'll still be there, but we'll give it a try. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next episode.